Well, hello everybody. What is happening out there? As always, I hope everybody's doing good. It is Monday, the 1st of March, and this is SITREP 59. So God is first. Um, yesterday on Sunday, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to church today. I got to tell you, I ain't been to church in that's got to be 20 years, 20 years. But I don't know. It just hit me. The spirit hit me and said, you got to go. So I did some research, and um, I kind of selected this one church, kind of aligned with what what my beliefs are. Most do, most are pretty close, but I think some churches today are getting kind of PC and I ain't about that, so. But anyway, I went, I'm glad I went. Um, as it turns out, the time that they had on the website was wrong. It was a half hour early and I kind of raced over there. I thought it was late, <laughs> so I got over there and I'm, I'm driving around. I'm like, there's no cars there. I'm like, what the heck? So right when I, I kind of pulled my car off to the side out in front of the building, and uh, I was getting ready to jump on my phone and look for the next church, you know, that was close to that time. It was 9 o'clock in the morning, like almost the dot right now. And something caught my eye and I look up and I see this person sitting in this chair, like the blinds were down halfway. But I could see like from the mid-torso down, and I could see that they had a book open, assuming it's the Bible, because that was the, where the church was. It was like in a, I don't know, there were several other like businesses around it. It was really not like a standalone church. It was really kind of its own little thing, but in a bigger complex, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so I kind of went in. I'm like, hey, is this, you know, is this Waterstone Church? And like, the guy's like, yeah. And we kind of hit it off. And I'll tell you, I'm, I'm glad I went. I mean, the church, the service was cool. It was right on point. I learned stuff. Um, it was a smaller church, uh, kind of laid back. There was music and stuff, but it wasn't, they didn't play and sing music. They actually showed videos of uh, some Christian videos and stuff. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. So glad I went. Um, the intro video you've seen. So the kind of drone that I have is a Mavic Air. And it's been out since probably, I don't know, maybe six years or so. So in the drone world, it's kind of older, you know. <laughs> Um, like all electronics today, right? So, but um, it has this built-in, like pre-programmed flights, flight patterns. So you select a pre-programmed flight pattern, like one of them is circle, and it asks you to highlight the area you want it to circle, and you highlight it. So you just, you know, take it, you point it at what you want, and you have it like hovering, pointing right at yourself, and you just on your screen that you're holding. So the, the screen you're holding, you can see whatever the drone can see. And if the drone is, like, let's say you, you're the camera, you guys right now is the drone. I could fly the drone um, up eight feet, down two feet, over to my left, and on my screen say, hey, I want to start this circle pattern. It'll ask me, you know, what's, this, what's the, the focus subject? I highlight myself on my screen and I hit go and the drone will fly around me at whatever, how many, however feet I, I set it uh, uh, to fly away from me. I can set it two, meet, uh, two yards, I can set it 20 feet, whatever I want, and it will automatically turn on the camera and it will fly around me and record as it does when it goes around me, so that's pretty cool. The one pre-programmed flight that you've seen is called the Asteroid. So when I select that, it tells me where I want to start. I brought the drone out in front of me, hovered it at about four feet and turned the, the the camera so it's looking down at me from up there I highlighted myself I hit go and then as you see and it took off it went up to about 200 feet and then it takes a series of three shots it looks up like this down it rotates uh, 90 degrees does it again again and again and it stitches those uh, what is that 12 photos together to get that earth kind of look so 
that that's pretty cool I'll show you guys how, how what that looks like and how it works so that is the Mavic Air pre-programmed flight path known as asteroid so let's go on to uh, medical stuff on the lighter side of things um, oddly enough the one of the what was her job she wasn't even a, really a medical person per se Jennifer like a social worker and she was like hey you know what let me know if any of you have a lot of tattoos let me know if any of your tattoos the ink in your tattoos raises up and I'm like huh and she said yeah one of the other, one of her other patients that is using Keytruda Keytruda the immuno drug that I use said that um, some of the ink in his tattoos raised up and sure enough within the last week certain parts of black ink alone matter of fact today it's all gone but there was like a spot here within this tattoo and then over here this little bit of black was raised up and then on this arm there was like that right really weird and then a couple days later that went down and another part of my uh, my, my tattoos raised up it was really weird so I need to send her an email and say hey you know what that weird request you had you're right <laughs> how weird is that on the not so light side of um, health stuff, uh, I spit up a couple of uh, blood clots today. Um, well, not too alarming. I mean, it wasn't like the last time where I had kind of a mouthful, and then I, as I kept spitting, it got lighter. This time, I just spit up this clot twice, and uh, then that was it. Like there was no more. So uh, it must—I don't know what the heck's going on. It's again, it's I can kind of feel it where it's at. And it's right between my my uh, nasal passages in my throat and again that's where that that large um, lesion or tumor is so I'm guessing that's something to do with it we got the CT results back from the CT I took on the 19th of February again that was mostly on my abdomen um, it showed that my prostate was slightly enlarged and it showed that or it suggested that um, we might have some cancer spread into my liver, but it was it was somewhat not conclusive, but it was suggestive of that. So you never want to hear that, but there it is. So that's pretty much all I want to say about health right now. Um, Weather-wise, the weather here has been really nice. Right now, I turned off the pool pump, or so it can be nice and quiet. You can see it is as nice here as it looks. It's uh, it's got to be up 80 or higher really nice uh, yesterday the house is really hot so I called my AC guy everybody's got a guy right I called my AC guy uh, Matt and Matt was we got turned on the map from our neighbors he uh, our neighbors are from Chicago and Matt is from Chicago too I mean it was really weird they weren't just both from the city um, they actually know some of the same people I mean you know Matt was in our, our neighbors uh, friends wedding and it was like that like what's well, the chances they both move up and end up here in Florida Anyway, my, my boy Maddie came by and, and I previously bought a new fan and a capacitor through my neighbor, Frank. Th thanks, Frank, if you're seeing this, brother. Because uh, we anticipated um, changing out this fan earlier because Matt stopped by back in like November and said, yeah, it's probably time we, we, we change these out. So today he came by and um, threw those in and the, the house is nice and nice and cool now. I'm keeping the, the voice over here smiling, so <laughs> she's happy. That's, that's always that's always good news, right? Happy wife, happy life. Um, and I mean, Matt was he was walking away, he jumped in his van. I'm like, dude, I gotta pay. He's like, yeah. I'm like, how much is it? He's like, uh. I'm like, come on, dude. Like he's that kind of guy, you know. He he, he knows I'm a veteran. He, he really respects veteran. He actually uh, he went to join the Marine Corps and he didn't disclose. Um, uh, a potential injury happening as a kid and it, it caught up to him and they found out and they, they kind of uh, he's not a, he didn't make it through all the way through boot because of it so but anyway really cool, cool dude I, I slipped him some money uh, it's real quick really good guy I appreciate him brother thank you thank you so much um, critters we, we have a lack of critters I am I am I'm disappointed to say and I'm very happy to say because I'm disappointed because I want to, you know, continue to see the bobcat. I mean, how, how often do you get to see bobcat in your yard, right? We haven't seen hiding a hair of the bobcat. I don't know what's going on with that thing. Um, I don't know. I hope I hope he's okay wherever wherever he or she is at. Uh, maybe it 
You know, the weather's getting nice. Maybe I found a mate somewhere. Who knows? Um, at coyotes, nothing. I mean, we have seen nothing at all on the cameras. As a matter of fact, uh, we were starting to question if they were working right and, until um, early this morning. Actually, last night at like 8.30 at night, both cameras tripped in one minute apart, both of them at the same moment, moments. And there was just bugs flying through. And it kind of looked like maybe there was something in the tree, like maybe a bat hanging. I don't know. I, I couldn't really see it. But anyway, not much to report out there, um, really, sadly, sad to say. And the good news is I'm happy because um, we have had no critter, no, no squirrel noises um, since, like, last Sunday. So... On Tuesday, the 23rd, last Tuesday, my boy Josh came out and he, he finally sealed up all the entry points and, and cemented them and everything. So, And thank God, since then, we haven't heard hide nor hair of the squirmy. So it must be gone. It found a new home. It finally got it. Thank you very much. $550 and about three weeks later. Unbelievable, the squirrel. <laughs> so... There's that. Um, and the last thing, this I probably should have reported this on um, on the health side, but it's it's quali it's cancer related, but kind of not. I just want to talk about my weight a little bit. Um, so I just jumped back on my healthy vet, which is the VA's um, secure website. I've told you guys that a bunch of times. Well, I jumped on there to kind of look at my weight in, in the past. And on the 24th of June last year, so that's like eight months ago, my weight was 152.6 pounds. And when I went in for my infusion on the 18th of February last week, that's two weeks ago, not last week, two weeks ago, uh, my weight was 134.5. So 152.6 last June minus 134.5 is we're going to call it 18 pounds so i've lost 18 pounds in eight months so that's about two two pounds a month just a slightly over that and that that's about what i've been doing so now you know now i'm down to like 134 now they're, they're starting to say look man we you know we can't be playing games with your weight now you have to really you know start watching what you're doing so um i've been put on a 2000 calorie diet and Back when my wife was pregnant with my my daughter, um, she was put on a well, yeah. You know, while she's pregnant, she was put on this this diet because she was um, basically it's diabetes that's in that's caused by being pregnant, pregnant, and it's it's generally um, treated through through diet. So she had to eat six to eight meals a day, and watching her go through that was torturous. I mean, you know, think about that. If you're eating six times a day, you're eating like every two and a half hours, right? Two hours, two to two and a half hours. It's, it's insane. And it gets to the point where you, you, you feel stuffed and you just don't want to eat anymore. And, and so one, one of my issues I've been having, I've said this before, is that I'm, having, I'm still having difficulty um, swallowing. And that's not getting any better, right? So... Um, I have to drink a lot of water with stuff that I, I eat and water's heavy, right? So, and when you get a gut full of water, you just, it, you lose your appetite. You don't want to eat, right? So they're like, Hey, you know, you have to try and, um, have like a, a thicker liquid with your meal. So, and that does seem to work better, right? If I found if I have like a milkshake or a, a smoothie or something with a meal, that thicker viscosity does help me to build up like pressure in my throat. So instead of flushing food down my throat, I'm actually doing a, I, I dare I call it a swallow, call it a swallow. I, I don't know, it's not a swallow like you guys would consider a swallow, but it's my swallow. So it, it is a, it's a, it's a, it's a way of swallowing just by building up pressure and forcing food down my throat instead of flushing it straight down like I'm guzzling a beer, right? So. Uh, but I still find it hard to, to eat six times a day, man. I just don't, I mean, what can you eat? And 2,000 calories, that's a lot of calories. I mean, MREs are 2,000 calories, but they're like, you know, induced with calories. 
So I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to meet the 2,000 calorie thing. I got to tell you. And every time I miss like a lunch, I don't. I don't generally eat breakfast. Um, every morning I've been having one of those breakfast um, powder drinks, and those are pretty good. I mean, I think they're like 300 calories. So that's that's a pretty good jump on the day. But you know, if I get up at 8:30, I'm having that thing. I have my coffee, and then at nine o'clock I'm having my breakfast drink thing. Well, I mean that kind of carries me over. I don't. I don't eat a whole lot. I don't need. A, I don't do a whole lot. I mean, heck, by noon, by noon or one, I'm taking a nap most days. So it's not like I'm starving to, to eat something at lunch. And some days, it just it makes me nauseous to even think about food. So I'm really, I'm really kind of struggling with this whole cal calorie thing. So um, I'm, I put that out there because I'm sure, you know, if, if some of my followers out there have cancer, um, you're not alone, man. I mean, I, I understand, and it's, it's natural to sometimes feel... Uh, especially if you're late, you're this late in the game, you just don't feel like eating. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily nauseous or anything. I just, I, I'm not hungry. I, I haven't done anything to, to induce any hunger, if that makes any sense, right? I haven't burned any calories. I mean, I have, but obviously, but not enough to, to drive hunger, right? So, anyway, lastly, guys, um, Subs, I got I got new subs. Um, thank you to you guys. Um, I should have known one of my one of my old buddies, Eric, um, Eric Turner, Eric, you're a maniac. <laughs> um, <laughs> I should have known he'd be the last one to respond to the mass email I sent to, out to all my army buddies, right? And uh, one thing about Eric, back in the day when I was his first arm, Eric was like Captain Crumbles, right? Captain Crinkles. Like he always, he'd be the first guy to jump in the mud after a bolt that got that fell in the mud. He'd be that guy, right? But he always looked like he just crawled out of the mud. Like Eric was always a, a messy soldier, right? And as a first sergeant, it just drove me crazy because I was always a, uh, I had to press my uniform kind of soldier, right? And Eric wasn't. So, anyways, Eric Eric sent me an email today, and uh, it it cracked me up, dude. If you see this, you're you are out of your mind. <laughs> but thank you. It was uh. It was uh, it was a funny funny email, man. And you you are you are a funny guy, man. So I hope this email, I mean, I hope this video finds you well, sir. Chief Warrant Officer Eric Turner, too. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna leave it out there, guys. It's only a 17 and a half minute video this week, cause there's not a whole lot going on. But I wanted to drop some content so you guys could kind of. Um, Bask in the beautifulness that is uh, Central Florida on the 1st of March. The spring is coming. It feels like it's already here, thank God. And um, I hope this video finds all you guys healthy and happy and wise out there. And um, I guess we'll see you next time, all right? Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Bye.